All right, here's your green curlies. This one is awfully thick, so I'm gonna cut it, but I'm also going to make them thinner. So here, you can take these and lay these in the front for your flower stems. Is it okay if I turn this back a little bit? Yes. Okay, and just get it kind of on the white a little bit more. Perfect, all right. I will grab some pink. And there might be some other colors in there too. They're just all jumbled up. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of sprinkle these on top for flowers. All right, so the next thing we do is um, when you're all done with your felt, we want to lay down a piece of that netting which holds the, the fibers in place. So I'm just gonna lay it right on top, just like that. And is yours all done? Yes. It's beautiful. Excuse me for reaching over you. It's okay. I'm gonna take all of these other pieces out of our way because we are all done with them. Once you've felted your fibers, you can't felt them again. The other stuff won't stick anymore. It's beautiful. Can I help you? Here, can I take this piece here? And we're just going to make um, another stem right here. I'm gonna use some of these and spread them out. Is that okay? Yeah, that's not right. cool. So I'm gonna add just a few of the little, and it's very abstract. It's kind of like a Monet. Yeah. And all this is is Dawn dish soap and water. Yeah, exactly. You can smell it. Uh -huh. I can smell it. I use Dawn what, what, what dish. Does that do? Um, so that means I don't put any soap on my hands. Felting <laughs> needs <laughs> soap and water soap and, and agitation. <laughs> The soap helps the fibers get slippery and grab onto each other, like the cuticles in the hair. So it needs to be good and wet, so you probably need a little bit more. Shampoo with Dawn. Yeah. 